Hey guys, Grant here for dropshipdownunder.com.au. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import products from Dropship Zone to Shopify using a CSV and exactly how you can edit the CSV so it all works smoothly. Let's dive in. All right, before we do get started, if you like the video, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any of our weekly uploads because we smash them out all week long. We've also got some great free training here on our website. You can find a link to this in the description below. Just come through and click this button. All right, let's dive in. So we head over to Dropship Zone and we go to My Account. And we go down all right so when you're on dropship zone you'll go into your account and you click on download SKU and if you haven't already downloaded them um, you can add them here to download if you can go into my SKU you can search for anything that you've already got so I'm going to search for these few see if I've got them already Okay, so I've got a few there already. So we're going to click all, download. Okay, that's so that's downloaded. I'm going to drop that onto the desktop. Then I'm going to go over to my Sheets, Google Sheets. This is where I do the editing of the CSV, so everything transfers into Shopify really well. So we go to File, Import. We go to Upload. Then we simply compress that, open up the file. And you can see there's several different files here. We want to get the one that says Shopify CSV. So we drop that in. Okay, once you get to this option, I usually just press replace spreadsheet, import data. So before we do anything, we actually have to delete some of these columns. These columns are just for our information from Dropship Zone. We don't actually need to import some of this information. So select all the columns from A just by clicking and dragging across all the way over to column Q. We want to stop at handle. This is the one we want to keep. Then we press Control, click the button, or that's on a Mac. Uh, if you're on a PC, it's slightly different click delete columns a through q and if we go back to the start you can see now that first column is now handle and that's the way we want to keep it so now we need to put in some tags to ensure that all of our products end up in the right collections so we've got products collections uh, with the tag dresses in the store that we're doing so we just select the uh, the dresses tag there and I usually just drop it into the, the top field here. Press enter and it'll drop down to one little field below. But if we tab back up, use the arrow buttons, you can see that that, that tag is in there now. Just to make sure it's in the correct column, we can have a look at, um, go tab one more up. So press the arrow up and you'll get, you can see that it's in tags there. Okay, so we go arrow down. We can see that one. We actually copy that field. Now we just press the arrow down and we get down to the next product and we're going to put a tag onto the next product here and we add that tag in there. So how did I know that it was in this field? Well, if we come back up, you can see that, yes, it's in that field here on the first product. And then if we go to a little bit further down, you can see that all of these are actually just uh, extra fields for either uh, extra images or uh, therefore extra variants so we need we don't really need to fill in the tags on all of those fields it's it's in it's simply next to the product itself that's listed in this this row now how do we know it's next to the right thing well if you press the arrow right you will see the little this little true field so you'll know that it's on the correct field uh, if, if you've got the true right next to it so if I come back you can see we've got dresses if i come back up again in that same column you can see there's no true next to it so come down look across you can see that there's true there so all we have to do is just continue down the list 
and pasting in our tag into each of these fields as we go. And I don't have a whole heap of products on this CSV, so you'll see that they're all done. Come back up. Now we need to come across and we need to make sure that there is a variant price for each of these items. So what I like to do is I check in the variant price column. Now, Dropship Zone, they do have a variant price for the vast majority of their products, which is the uh, recommended retail price. And then they've got the cost per item in a different column over here. So we need to make sure that they have a variant price in every, every single item. So most of them, like I said, will have it. There, there will be some of their other products that, uh, that don't list a variant price. So you need to set that yourself. So we're just going to click down the list here as we go. And you can see there's a price in this one. How do I know? Okay. You can see that this is the largest field. And all of these are just merely images in each of those uh, uh, rows as we go along. Okay, so continue down. You can see that there is a value has popped up in here. I can't see it on the bottom here because this, this, this row is a little bit long, but I can see it in the field. So continue down. Yes, again, we can see a price. Yes, there's a price there. You know, you can see the costs price and the retail price. Continue down. There's one there too. Okay, so all of these had a variant price in them, which is fine. And that's it. All we need to do then is go to File, Download, and we want the comma separated values. So CSV sheet, click that. It downloads, and we've got that there. So I'll move it slightly and I'll just chuck it on the desktop. And then that's ready to directly import into Shopify. All right, I hope that really helps you and speeds up all of the product uploads for you for getting any products off, off Dropship Zone and into your Shopify store. All right, if you got any value out of that, please give us a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And to link to this free training is in the description below. So you can go through and check that out if you're looking to start your own dropshipping business right here in Australia too. All right, see you in the next video. Cheers, guys.